When a man loves you deeply, he will respond in these five ways. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what actually are the signs that show that a man is falling in love with you, that he's developing a deep emotional bond where he actually commits to you, craves you. He starts to want to do all the things that make you happy. And also, how do you know when a man is more wishy-washy, when he is actually not that committed, not that interested, not that emotionally involved? And especially in this video, what are the signs of how he responds to you based on things that you do when you're not happy, when you are happy? How does he respond that reveal these secrets to you of what's actually going on inside of his heart? So if you're ready to know when he's deeply in love with you by his responses, go ahead and comment, I'm ready, now below in the comments and we're going to go ahead and start diving into that so in case you don't know me already my name is brody boyd i'm a magnetizer man expert and for over 13 years i've helped single men to attract the right woman for them so i have a unique perspective into what goes on inside the male brain and inside the male heart and soul that shows when a man is going to be loving you what makes him fall in love and how does he reveal that typically to you so if you like my background, my outfit, the content, or anything in the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, a like right now. I would really appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell below if you're not subscribed already for more incredible free videos on how to attract the relationship that you really want. And make sure to also share this video with a girlfriend or two who you feel could benefit from these powerful dating and relationship principles. And lastly, make sure to watch the video all the way through for a surprising bonus that I'm going to add in at the end as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in with powerful response number five, when a man will ask you what's wrong. So this is a sign that he's starting to care and not just the sense of the word like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why is something always a problem? More like when he's actually compassionate, when he's actually interested in knowing the answer and asking a question such as just what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? more from coming from the place when he's coming from the place of wanting to understand and he's coming from the place of wanting to fix it wanting to make it better authentically not just to get you off his back so you stop complaining or you stop nagging at him or stop being upset whether you're sad or angry or whatever but he honestly authentically wants to know what's wrong why are you not happy why are you sad why are you angry so that he can fix it and make it better maybe it has nothing to do with him but if a man is feeling a deep emotional connection to you, if he's starting to feel uh, deep feelings of love for you, he's going to want to fix it. He's going to want you to be happy. He's going he's gonna to feel responsible for your level of emotional being, uh, for your emotional well-being. And he's going to make sure that you are, if you are in his spiritual, um, spiritual zone, you're his spiritual zone of influence, meaning that you're part of his world, you're part of his his heart, soul world, he's gonna feel like he needs to manage that, everything in his territory, he needs to manage and make sure it's happy because he cares about you, he doesn't wanna lose you, he doesn't want you to feel sad or upset, and he's gonna try to do what he can to make it better. So I'd also like to hear from you, comment below now, which country or state are you watching from? Go ahead and comment below, I'm always interested to hear uh, where you're watching from. Number four, response number four is he prioritizes time with you. So this is a great sign he's starting to feel feelings of love for you because he's actually making the time to spend time with you. He's putting you as a priority in his life. He's setting aside things that may have been distracting him before, such as uh, running errands or work or other hobbies or other friends or family or uh, potentially other women, depending on how long you've been seeing each other. And he's setting those things aside because he wants to spend time with you. He's making it a priority. He's saying no. The only way you can actually make something a priority in your life is by saying no to other things. That's what a decision means. A decision comes from the Latin word side, which means to cut, to cut off. You have to cut off other options if you want to decide to prioritize something else. So he has to be able to say no, and he has to have the strength in his character or the courage, the willingness to say no. And the way he gets that courage is by his having deep feelings for you. And he's going to set those other things aside. He's going to make time for you. He's going to be glad that he made time for you and feel like it's a privilege, feel like it's a huge benefit to his life, a huge asset that he does get to spend time with you, which is why it's so important to make sure that you're actually adding that value to his life, that you're being the best, most feminine, most joyful, most most uh, pleasurable 
being you can be partner that you can be in a relationship so that he feels like I don't want to spend time with anyone else. I love spending time with her. Uh, he maybe brags to his friends about it, how he's getting to go on a trip with you this weekend or whatever. He's prioritizing it and he wants to prioritize it. That's a huge sign. He's starting to feel deeply, deep feelings of love for you. Response number three is when a man will say, tell me more. Now, this is similar to the point I made at number one or number five, which is he is authentically curious. He's authentically interested in what you have to say, how you're feeling, what you want, what your fears are, what your pleasures are. He wants to know. And so he'll usually say things like, tell me more, or he will ask questions, lots of questions. Um, he's curious, he's digging. And sometimes he'll just let you go. And you know, sometimes if he's a more masculine man, it isn't the most pleasurable thing in the world for him to be listening to complaints, to just ventings, or talking about things that he may not, it's hard for him to have an interest in, depending on what his interests are, but he's making the effort. He's, if he cares deeply enough about you, he's willing to go past any kind of feelings of discomfort or pain he might feel in his masculinity to actually put in the effort into the relationship and listen and be present with you and show you, make eye contact and really want to know how you're doing because he cares and and he wants you to be happy and he's wanted to do what he can to make you happy. You know, a man, a man's fundamental sense of value comes from his ability to give valuable service to others, meaning he's providing value. Uh, if a man doesn't feel valuable, he feels worthless. And especially in a relationship, if he doesn't feel like he can make you happy, if he doesn't feel like um, he's able to provide value to you, he's going to be feeling in his core, his masculine core, why am I here? What am I doing? Um, he's going to get depressed, he's going to feel uh, worthless, and his confidence will drop. So that's why it's also important to share how he can win the game with you. Um, and also what does make you happy and the things he does that you enjoy that you appreciate. So he says, Oh, I can actually win the game with her. I know what to do. I know how to make her happy. Let's go. Let's do it. And he's going to masculine confidence, his masculine self esteem is going to keep going up. And he's going to feel happy. And he's again, never going to leave you never want to leave you because he feels like why would I leave something so great? Why would I leave something where I'm getting filled up every day, rather than depleted every day, or emasculated like what some women unfortunately do with their partners and criticizing, overly criticizing, tearing him down, making him look less than especially in, in terms of other men or other um, situations that he's a failure, etc. So don't do that and lift him up and he'll want to be curious and he'll start feeling those deeper feelings. Now, if you're liking this content so far, please give it a thumbs up, a like below this video, appreciate it, and also share it with a girlfriend and subscribe for more great videos like this coming in the future. Um, there will be more and you're gonna not wanna miss them because we're gonna be sharing some really deep principles in other future videos. So stay tuned for those and make sure you're on the list for those. Number two is he stops doing things that bother you. That's a great sign that he's feeling deeper feelings of love for you, that he's not only listening, he's not only asking those questions, but he actually changes his behavior. You know, you can't make a man change. He's not gonna change because you tell him to. He's not gonna change because you ask him to. He's only gonna change because he wants to. And he's gonna want to when he feels like it's gonna make you happy, when he feels like it's gonna be appreciated, it's gonna be valuable, and when he's afraid of losing you. And it doesn't mean you're gonna say like, hey, if you don't change this, I'm leaving, if you're not, you're not constantly waving that over his head and giving him ultimatums. But if you made it clear the emotional impact, how it's not working for you, if you have your standards, you've set boundaries, you've told him what you need, and he either steps up or he doesn't. And this could be a great sign if he actually cares, at some point he's gonna stop whether that's, you know, stop talking to other women on social media or flirting with them or whatever it might have been that you didn't like. Maybe it's just that he's spending too much time playing video games or doing other things other than prioritizing you or he's not initiating enough or reaching out or being in his masculine. So you're you're constantly being in your masculine and it's destroying the polarity in your relationship. Or maybe he has bad habits that you don't like, like he's eating too much or drinking too much or doing some other things, hopefully not. But if this could be a good sign, again, if you have your standards, and this is also, by the way, a good reason why it's so important to pick the right man in the first place, because men typically, people typically don't change a whole lot, and they only change for their reasons, not for your reasons. So it's really important. I always like to say how a relationship starts is generally how it will continue. So 
don't get in, caught in the trap of picking a man who is just not going to work long term. It's not what you want. He doesn't have the right habits, the values, whatever, and hoping that he's going to change someday. That's a death trap uh, that a lot of women get caught into. Don't do it. Instead, look for a quality man or look for a man who is at least most of the way there, 90% of the way there of what you're looking for. Um, rather than trying to fix a man and or hoping he's going to change. Again, it is possible, and that's why it's also important to find a guy who's working on himself, who's improving himself, so that even if he's not quite there yet, you see the trajectory that he actually takes actions. He's actually working on improving his health, his mindset, his well-being, his character, his career, etc. That's what you want to look for also is the trajectory of where he's heading. So, Response number one is he asks others for advice. So especially if you're having conflict in your relationship, if things are getting tough, if it's not working out so well, he's not just isolating. A sign that he cares about you is he's not just isolating. He's not just beating himself up or, uh, yeah, pulling away. But he's also willing to ask others for advice, whether that's his friends. Hopefully he has some buddies he can ask advice for. Maybe that's hopefully he's part of a church or he has a community, spiritual community. He can go to others for advice, friends, pastors, counselors. Maybe he has a coach. He hires a man coach or he's part of a men's group or he's reading books at the very least, watching YouTube videos. But either he's asking for advice. Again, this is sort of similar to the last one we mentioned. He's either asking for advice or he's looking for advice and tips on how he can make the relationship better, how he can make himself better, how he can be the best man he can be at all times because he cares deeply for you. He doesn't want to lose you. So if he's not quite what he, where he's wanting to be in the relationship or where the relationship is want, he, he wants it to be, he's going to be working to try to make it that way because he cares deeply. So that's a great response. Is he, is he looking for advice? Is he getting help? Is he getting support? Or is he just isolating, giving up, quitting, feeling depressed? Um, and yeah, you can encourage him and you can say, um, you can mention like some books that you, that you heard about that could help or maybe to see a counselor together or to work with a coach. Um, but again, that's something he has to make the decision on his own. He has to decide he wants that badly enough. And, uh, and that's why it's also important for you to have standards because you, he needs to know, hey, if he's not able to step up in that way or take the masculine role um, and really be strong and supportive in the relationship, then you're going to find a man who will. You know, or you're, that's what your standard is. That's what you're looking for. And if you're not getting that, you're, you're going to move on. And he has to know that. You don't necessarily have to say that, but he has to feel that from you and has to be authentic. Um, that you would be willing to walk away if you're not getting your needs met for a prolonged period of time, you know, within reason, not that you're um, ex have unrealistic expectations of him, but within reason, you have basic standards that need to be met as far as what your relationship looks like. And uh, if no, you're not getting that, you need to be out, which is again important why you need to, so important why you need to have standards in relationships. Now, before I share my final bonus secret, comment below which of these signs has a man shown you, if any. I'd be really interested to hear that from you. And then lastly, and by the way, you can pause the video, write that comment if you want, because I'd really, really curious to hear that from you. What signs has a man show you? Or you can say that at the end of this video. Bonus, he does his best to make you feel safe and loved. So this goes along with some of the others. He's actually showing signs and the actions. He's responding by doing his best to make you feel safe and loved. And again, it might be perfect. It's probably not going to be perfect. Men are flawed as well. We all have our flaws. We all have things we're working on. The key is, is he doing his best? And also, is his best authentically his best? Is he selling himself short? Is he selling you short? Because also, you don't want to get caught in the trap of thinking, oh, he does love me. He's doing his best, even though it's like this much of what I need when I actually need this much. But oh, as long as he's doing his best. You don't want to get caught in that trap. But you want to see again, is he making the effort? And is he wanting, do you see him actually tr uh, taking actions to try to make you feel safe and loved? One of the big things of this is, is he taking that protector, provider, masculine, um, kingly role? Or is he being more of like the little boy, the Peter Pan, um, just, you know, wanting a mommy, basically? Or is he just a playboy? Or is he non-committal? Is he just wanting to have fun in his life? He's not taking any kind of real responsibility or building anything. Um, now the other, so that's part of making you feel safe, making you feel loved is, is he really doing the five love languages with you? You know, is he 
providing you with acts of service? Is he helping you in certain ways? Does he fix things for you? Does he offer to help? Is he buying you gifts or giving you some kind of gifts, flowers? It doesn't have to be. Again, some guys, their love language, you know, most guys, the two love languages, pretty much all guys is physical touch and words of affirmation. That's pretty much it. With women, it's all five. Women are all five of the love languages. So uh, at least in my experience. <laughs> so um, uh, is he doing those five love languages with you? I and mean, again, he may not have the awareness for this. That's part of the asking for advice and getting help. Maybe that could be good for you to both read that book together, the five love languages. But is he making an effort? Is he giving you hugs, massages, cuddles? Is he telling you that he loves you? Is he showing, is he, is he telling you why he loves you or telling you the things, complimenting on you, you on things or just appreciating you? Is he, um, is he spending quality time with you and actually prioritizing that time like we mentioned before? So look for those signs because that's again showing that he has, he does care, he does love you, he's working on it, he's making his best effort and he's actually wanting you to feel loved and he's wanting you to feel safe and that that shows that he's caring he doesn't want to lose you he wants you to be happy because that's also how he be, feels happy uh as a masculine man if that's um who he is and and how he's stepping up in the world so i hope this was helpful if you like this you're really gonna like our free magnetize your man quiz that we created completely free to attract a long-term loving and committed relationship with a man that you're interested in have a great relationship uh, that you want, how to really create that. So go to mymquiz.com now. You can get our free quiz, get our free resources, possibly even a free um, session if you um, complete that quiz and you'll get those customized uh, resources for you. So I highly recommend it, mymquiz.com. We'll also put a link in the description below. And if you haven't yet, I also highly recommend next watching my other free video when a man deeply loves you, he'll start saying these five things. So what does a man actually say to you? What other things does he say to you? Not just how he responds, but how does he say, speak when he is feeling deep feelings of love for you. So awesome. Hope this was helpful to you. Love to share your thoughts in the comments below. Check out the other video, take the free quiz, and I will see you on our next powerful training video coming up very soon.